Hello and welcome to the instruction video how to use the data taker DT85GM to take the hydraulic pressure from the Guica A10 sensors. So in the first step we need to install the software to retrieve and control the data taker. So you have to go to our USB, the provided USB name is DT85GM and you go to the resource files folder. In this folder, you are going to find the host software folder and you can install one of these software. For more information, please click on the web file. This contains a very short instructions about each software, what is its purpose and how to use it, what is the requirements for them. For our project in EG4011 and EG4012, you can use the uh, uh, DT USB that a web interface or the D transfer that is a software interface. Now let's install DT USB first. Here is the uh, uh, conditions, and you have to agree with that. That's very quick. And after that, you can install the D transfer. and just for you only okay that's all that's the first step now we have to move to the second step when we have to configure our uh, data taker so we can use the scheme c3 or the scheme c4 in the manual the scheme c3 is used for a single measurement with only one sensor if you have multiple sensors, you have to use the scheme C4. And the command for the scheme C3 is the port, the terminal, and the value you want to measure. For example, you want to measure the value at the port number 1, at the terminal hash, and the value you want to measure is the current. So it's going to be 1 hash i. For the scheme C4, the command is almost the same except you have to declare the mode uh, so you have an external power over here so it should be uh, one hash i and e in the brackets here is a figure of how to config our uh, data taker so the first one is a line of power and the line of uh, usb cable on the side you have two A10 sensors connected to the port number 1 and the port number 3 and you excite it from the star terminal and the value is measured at the hash terminal. You also have a small external power of 24 volt and on the top is a task LCD where you can uh, check what is the current task of the data taker and the indicator in the third step i need to connect the computer to my data taker and here is the interface of the d transfer software i need to create a new connection so i press on this button the new connections and i enter the name for the new connection so i will not be confused later it should be dt 85 gm and i select the port I'm currently using to connect the data taker to my computer, which is COM5. If you don't know which COM it is, you can go to my computer, right click to get to property and device manager. In the window of the device manager, you can see the port folder, and if you click on it, you can see the data taker USB serial port is currently connected to the COM5 port so it should be compiled and I select the right type of my data taker I can use password or wake up required if needed or I also can enter the command to send uh, after connection or before the disconnect now I already have my connection here so I just click on connect and 
I am connected. Now after the connection, I can use some useful command to measure my data. For example, I want to measure at the port 1, uh, at the terminal hash, and the value of current. So I will have it is 0 mA because currently my data logger is not connected to the sensor. I also can convert my uh, data uh, to a specific unit before I record it. For example, I get a function range S1 equal to 0, 100 from 0 kilopascal to 100 picascal from 0 percentage to 100 percentage and my unit is KPA. So now if I use the same command one hash but now I use this with I but now I use it in range of S1 I will have it recorded as 0 kPa, not 0 mA. So this helps us a lot in uh, transferring data time. But if you are confident with the mA, you can use that one. Uh, there are also some other useful comments. For example, I can use uh, reschedule uh, the A, uh, the schedule A, to uh, 5 seconds. That means it will be recorded every 5 seconds. And then I press G, that means I resume all of my schedules. So it will start recording every 5 seconds. And if I want to stop it, I just press H. And it stops. To unload the data, you have to click on the data transfer and unload. So it will contact the data logger. Now you can have several jobs and you have to select the right schedules you have done. I use schedule A before so therefore I just reschedule uh, A and then I press on unload the selections. So here is your data and you can save it to another file and you select uh, where to put it. Please ensure that you have the right to, uh, the, to, to write data to the folder you selected. Uh, in addition, you also can use unload command. So I press U and then with unload all the data to my uh, to my screen. Uh, at the moment, I don't have much data, so therefore I I don't have most of data. I will record it and then uh, export it to Excel file. So now here is a um, uh, data file, and I have to import it to Excel with delimited, and I use comma to separate my columns. And I can finish. So here will be uh, my columns, job and data, and date and time. I hope that is enough for the uh, transfer. Now let's move to the uh, DT USB. Okay, so now we move to the DAX uh, software. Actually, it's a website interface of the monitoring software for the data taker. Uh, here is our uh, interface and the first step we have to config the docker. Uh, a disadvantage of DAX is that it's uh, very slow so when you press a button you have to wait about one or two seconds for it to execute. However, it doesn't require any software and it doesn't require much installation. So now in my data locker, I already have a job schedule, but now I guide you from the beginning. So, firstly, you need to add a schedule. Here, I have schedule number 3, and the name is B. And I want it to be recorded every 30 seconds. And I don't want it to be a daily, I want to keep continuing uh, doing this. So I just move to add a measurement. 
I have plenty of measurement here. So for my situation, I add the measurement of current. And I call it the current at port 1. To avoid any mistake, possible mistake, you should delete all space in your name. And I can select the current loop. It's the only position. So an advantage of DAX is that it shows you all of the wiring scheme. So you can select the right one for your situation. So I use C4 connections for my sensor. So I select this one. And for the kernel, I'm measuring as kernel 1. That's the port 1. And my display unit can be uh, KPA. Okay, now for scaling, you know that we have some scaling because we are measuring in milliampere and the results in um, kilopascal. So therefore, we can add a span, and my span will come from zero percentage to 100 percentage. You can have a polynomial but in this situation I have my scan from 0 to 100 percent and the physical output can be from 0, 0 kpi to 100 kpi. And I delete the span tool which I created before. Now I do the same thing. I add a new measurement and it should be about the current. And I have it should be port. Now I can select the scheme, which is C4 scheme. And I change my kernel to the port 3. And my display unit is KPA. And in scaling, I use the same scaling span tree. Or I can add another one if I want to. About the statistic, I can add the average minimum maximum standard, but I don't need that one. I need the range value, so I don't need this. Uh, I also don't need to use any event to trigger my uh, problem. So if I want to use events, so, so for example, if the pressure is higher than a number, I can start my measurement. Or maybe the temperature is more than something, or maybe uh, I want to start it every morning. But uh, in our project, I don't need this one. After uh, doing everything, I can write my uh, job to the logger. And it start. Now we go back to the home page. So you can see from here, we have the status where I can know which schedule is uh, currently on and about the welcome about the job config about the program that is the current code is running and I also can see the measurements so if I go to the mimic uh, chart I can add a new one for example and I update every 30 seconds. So I will have a dial here to show me the value. Or I also can create a chart, parameter, compass, history list, trend chart. And I create a mimic. So you can see the diagram. It's currently 
minus 25 because my current ampere is zero and the minimum ampere is 4 milliampere so this will be uh, the chart and now how to uh, see the comment so I go to comment window you can see that there are a lot already a lot of um, data over here and it's loaded all the time I can use a comment it's the same like I use in the G transfer software and I also can retrieve my data very easily so I can retrieve own data or I retrieve in a range or new data only and I can select the format to use and I just press on the shift now now I can open it with Excel file and you can see that here is my timestamp here is my port 1 and here is my port 2 because currently I don't have any uh, milliampere so therefore it's all about minus 25 kPa and that is uh, I hope this is enough for you to start your project in EG 4011